I'll film it right now. Three, two, one, action. Good morning, welcome to... <laughs> Everyone inside, please! That would be the alarm for everyone get inside for the driver's briefing. Good morning, welcome to the... <laughs> let's try that again. Okay, let's try that in a slightly quieter location. So, welcome to the next installment of my Michelin Mission series with Supercars Club Arabia. The next few days are going to be fantastic. Please like and subscribe. I do not want to see you guys missing out on the incredible supercar action which is about to unfold. But let me explain a little bit about it and the alignment with Michelin. So they've become the primary sponsors of uh, Supercars Club Arabia. Uh, but the important thing is that it's not just the obvious tie-in with supercars and tires. It's all about the wider lifestyle and culture that I think people sometimes uh, miss out on when they think of Michelin. Quite rightly, they probably only think of tires. But you know the Michelin Guide, the famous Michelin star guide which uh, rates and ranks the world's best restaurants which are often found in some of the world's best hotels and most beautiful locations well that's the same Michelin Michelin tires and the Michelin guide they're the same people and uh, what Michelin are doing for Supercars Club Arabia and inadvertently what I'm going to be sharing with you guys over the next couple of days is the wider culture and lifestyle that comes with these fabulous cars yes the tires are obviously an integral part of making all of that power from these wonderful cars stick to the ground but the journeys which they take us on, I find, are even more important. And number one is the people we meet along the way, which we shall be talking with over the next two days. So without further ado, let's go check out some of these cars and take you guys along for an incredible ride. I was just saying, so if you guys haven't seen video one, I introduced this car, we were in the underground car park, and I was saying I can't wait to see this thing outside in the light. You've had this for what, two days? I just bought it the second day I shipped the car. <laughs> so basically... This is your first time driving the car? Exactly, exactly. What an amazing time. So, okay, so far we've done what, like 60 miles. How is it so far? First of all, yeah. half of the tank is done. <laughs> okay, it's, half the tank is empty. It's a beast. It drinks with two fuel. straws. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I told you, this one is a this is a Diablo anniversary color. Okay. So it was not in the production line of the Aventador at all. So I wow. got lucky having it there. But and the thing killing me is these yeah. seats. Are they stiff? Dude, we've, we've, we've done it 60 is. miles, man. It is. And it's all this ready to stiff. It is, it is. We've got the fixed carbon but it buckets. Was, it's worth the pain. Oh, mate. You, uh, the, to have something that looks this good and sounds this great, with the roof off, you can hear it even more so. I mean, you can put I, up with a little bit of uncomfort. I don't mind put all my clothes and sit on. <laughs> but look at this paint. So, I'm not sure if you guys watched the video before, but I was trying to explain in the underground car park this special edition paint. But you, look, you can see now the incredible orange fleck which is on this I mean this gray I'm not sure how the camera is doing it it's kind of similar to what Nardo gray would look like but there's this incredible fleck in it see the it's one is the glam. you see that the, the, the look carbon at this. fiber I so exposed carbon fiber flooring coming through this custom mat it's had some really subtle nice details on it but I'm always blown away every time I'm around an Aventador. The sculpture. I know we see pictures of these cars, don't we? A lot online. But it's not until you're around them and you start spending some time around them that you pick up on the crazy sculpture. It blows me away. Gen 2 GT3 yet? I have not been in a Gen 2 GT3 and I, 
they'd been out for a really long time. <laughs> and I really wanted to go in one, and uh, I mean, here yeah. I am, and, and driving it up a, an Alpine pass. So what's what's pretty crazy about this is I am yet to have driven this car on any what I would class as like decent roads in terms of like Alpine pass. Yeah. So you're driving this before I am. Yeah. <laughs> on a really decent Alpine pass. Although in Switzerland, so we're going it's exactly yes. the speed limit. So for those of you guys who may not be familiar with the road rules in Switzerland, uh, they are truly next level strict yeah, they when it comes to speeding. Don't mess about. Do not mess around. So they generally, if they're being, if they want to apply the full force of their law, they are allowed to take a percentage of your overall wealth and overall earnings. Yeah, earnings. If they really want to like smash you, they can do that. And I believe Switzerland still holds the world record. It's the either Switzerland or somewhere in Scandinavia, like really, Norway yeah. or somewhere. Yeah. But the, the fight, like, it was many hundreds of thousands yeah, of pounds. Was, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Which is, yeah, not cool. Yeah. Let's hear that plan six. I like to experience a car in its stock format for a few thousand miles before putting the exhaust on. Yeah. Reason being, it just opens up a whole new world of sound. Speaking of which. <laughs> Finally, I mean, I've owned this car now for five months, but I'm yet to have had it on anything like a road like this. <laughs> and this is when I remember why I bought a GT3. It's so agile. I mean, you know, one unique trait. <laughs> that 9,000 RPM is ridiculous. You know, one unique trait of Alpine roads is they're inherently tight, twisty, and evidently bumpy. This car soaks that up so well. It's such a delight. And what's great, now we've been on this road for some time, we've got some heat in these tires, but it's not until you get some temperature in them that they find their own bite entirely. And it gives you so much more confidence to lean on them, lean on the car, and ultimately just be able to enjoy this road with a wonderful flowing sensation. Okay, part two of this magnificent drive. The thing about this is you've gotta, you've gotta stop and take on board where you are because uh, journeys like this, we end up getting really fast paced and moving swiftly and you never truly appreciate the environment you're in. Uh, right now, we are halfway up an incredible pass. But let me just show you over this amazing view here. Now, we've strategically parked here because as you can see, that is the cloud line. So we are about to actually pass through the clouds as we go up this stretch of road here. But before we do that, I just want to show you the road we've just wound our way up. Behold, driving Nirvana. And it's the time of year where we're kind of halfway house. There's no like tourism because no one's driving up here for skiing. Uh, it's kind of too cold for cycling almost. Uh, it's kind of wet. It's not raining just yet, but I have a feeling when we get through these clouds, it's going to be quite damp on the road surface. But these are the roads we get to tackle on our own. So far, there's no one about. It's just me and Sam having a riot. <laughs>
approaching our final destination of the day. Oh, some cows. We're staying in. Oh, yeah. Check out the cows. We're staying in Colmea, which is a ski resort in Italy. Probably enough, the last time I was here, uh, I was ice driving with Maserati. Pretty cool. Is it the same, same hotel? And this not the same hotel. There we are. It looks really nice. So we've had some people arrive. I feel like we can park at the front. Ah, here we are. <laughs> That's the sound of our people. <laughs> the celebratory we have arrived revving. They look so cool, don't they? Um, I'm aware that we have one of these back home that's very rarely featured on the channel so far. We've just been so busy traveling lately that I haven't had time to uh, feature it. But rest assured, when we get back, there'll be plenty of 720s on the channel. Anyway, let's go inside, check in, check out the hotel. Supercar Club Arabia Tour is coming to a close. It's been a fantastic start. I cannot wait for the road to lie ahead tomorrow. We've met some great people, seen some fantastic cars. We're just getting warmed up. Tomorrow is day two, and by judging by the map, we've got some incredible roads lined up. So be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss out. And as always, thanks for watching, and see you next time. Ciao.